Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this uh, long, relatively long video, we will cover the part 1.3 about concepts and terminology related to theory of mechanism. Uh, we start with the contents of this part that we will survive in this video and will be as follow. First, we will define what are machines, mechanisms and structures. Then, we will talk about links. Then, we will discuss about joints. Then, kinematics chains. Then, mechanisms. Then, linkages. And, planar, spheric and spatial mechanisms. And, we classify the mechanisms. And, at the end, we finish with the schematic diagrams. So, now, let's first start with item number one. which is machines, mechanisms, and structures. And we answer the first question, which is, what is the machine? What is a machine? Okay. And we say that a machine is the assemblage of resistant bodies or links as we will see next connected by movable joints in order to perform or in order to perform a work. So the first, uh, the, the final uh, goal of a machine is to perform or to do a work. And the next we answer what is a mechanism and we say that a mechanism is the assemblage of links to form a closed kinematic chain. We will discuss about kinematic chains later in this video with one link fixed in order to transform motion okay so the goal of mechanisms is to transform motion okay and the last question it is what is structure and we say structure is the assemblage of links connected by permanent joints unlike the mechanisms and machines which you which use a, a, a movable joints for structure we use a permanent joints that doesn't allow relative motion between parts and the purpose is in order to support high loads. Okay. So next we will discuss about links and answer the first question. What is a link? Okay. What is a link? So we say a link is a, a link is a machine part 
or a component of a machine, which is assumed as rigid. Here, why we use the assumption of rigidity? Because with the assumption of rigidity, we can separate the study of kinematics from the study of dynamics. From dynamics. Okay, and we answer what are the basic types of links. We have many basic types. The most known are first binary links, second ternary link, and binary link have having only two join elements we will discuss next about joint elements for ternary link we we are having three joint elements three quaternary have four joint elements and we can show this illustration we can see here what is a binary link have two joint elements ternary link have three joint elements and quaternary link have four joint elements so uh, uh, we can also classify we can classify link links as first rigid second non-rigid and third one way rigid which means that is rigid under where it is under tension and is non-rigid where when it is under compression okay and in this course we will only assume rigid body rigid link and those non-rigid and one way rigidity we are not uh, we will not discuss anymore in this course so now we will talk about joints And try to answer the first question. What is a joint? Okay. Is a connection between two neighbored links. and consists of two mating surface or two elements or two elements or joint elements one mating surface being a part of each connected links Next question, what is the purpose of joints? 
joints allow a relative motion between the neighbor links thus it means thus it they allows they allow the transformation of motion from input to output okay input link to output link <laughs> so the next question is what determines the relative motion allowed by a joint this is is the shape is the shape of the connecting of the mating surface connecting elements or connecting elements or joints elements the shapes of connecting element surfaces okay what matter matters most for kinematics what is the relative motion between the connected links and not necessarily the shapes of the element or their dimension okay the next section how to study the kinematic joints so we say we should assign to each joint a variable parameters parameter one or many so we say s for calculating the motion And they are called called joint variables. Okay, the last question is how joints are classified. We can classify joints as one higher pairs or second lower pairs uh, pairs is another name of joints so joints or pairs or kinematics pairs we can we can use this as words kinematics pairs we can use inter interchangeably this words joints or pairs or kinematic pairs so uh, for a uh, higher pairs it's characterized by having a line or point contact between the joint elements. Uh, 
and for lower pairs they ha they are characterized by having a surface contact between the joint elements okay we can see here different lower press okay and here first we have this is a revolute or turning pair called also called also pin joint okay it has one degree of freedom the second one is this one is prism or prismatic pair or called also sliding pair have also one degree of freedom the third one uh, the third one C this is skew or helical pair which is one degree of freedom because the sliding and turning are, are, are dependent okay they depend on uh, on the helix angle and are one degree of freedom the fourth one which is here D we call it cylinder or cylindric pair it has two degree of freedom okay one for sliding and one for turning the fifth one is spheric sphere or spheric or a spheric pair which has three degree of freedom uh, they rotate about three independent and perpendicular axis first one second one third one okay and the last one F is flat or planner pair in German in German we say ebony pair okay it has three degree of freedom two translation and one rotation okay now we finished with the joints now we talk about kinematic chain and we try to answer the first question what is a kinematic chain kinematic chain is the connection between between several links by movable joints What are the types of kinematic chains? We can classify them as closed or open. Closed kinematic chain. C. 
second open kinematic chain third one a simple closed kinematic chain and the last one as compound closed kinematic chain so for the first one it is where in the, for closed kinematic chain it is where every link is connected to at least two others links for open kinematic chain it is it is where each link is not necessarily connected to at least two other links two other links for simple compound chain it is it is a kinematic chain with only binary links okay it is a closed kinematic chain closed and the last one compound it is a closed kinematic chain that uses other than binary links and forms and forms more than one more than one or more more than a, a single closed loop Okay. Next, we discuss about mechanisms E and the answer what is mechanism? A mechanism is a closet kinematic chain. with plus one link is fixed and we call it ground link or frame link or base link okay what are the controlling pa controlling parameters of the kinematics uh, of mechanisms so uh, it is first one number of links second one is the length of links and third one is relative motion
a wall to buy. Buy joints. Okay, next we discuss about linkage and answer what is a linkage. As we simply say that a linkage is a mechanism with only lower pairs. Okay, next we discuss about. Planner, spheric, and spatial mechanisms, and we answer what is a planner mechanism. Okay. Planner mechanism is a mechanism in which All material particles describe planar curves in space. Okay. And this curve lie in parallel plans. Okay, so next, what is the planar linkage? Is simply it is is a planar mechanisms mechanism with only lower lower pairs. Okay. As we see here, okay, this is a four bar linkage. Crank or ochre uh, mechanisms or linkage. Okay, this is a planner. All the particles are moving in a plane, even it is not on the same plane but parallel planes, not necessarily a single plane. Okay, what is a spheric mechanism? A spheric mechanism is a mechanism in which Each moving link has a point, has a stationary point Okay. And points fixed in each moving link travel on concentric Spheric surfaces. Okay, what is a spheric linkage? Is a spheric mechanisms. Is a spheric mechanism. in which all axes of 
on revolute pair if if or pair must 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 intersect at a single point here is a spheric mechanism which we have lower purse here for linkage it is a linkage and they all the axis all intersect at the same point okay lastly what is special mechanism it is a mechanism in which which includes no restriction on the relative motion of the links here for spatial mechanisms we have application in robotic here is a robo manipulator and we see here uh, a platform manipulator okay it's interesting to note that uh, spheric mechanisms and planar mechanisms are just a special cases of spatial mechanisms okay next we will discuss we will see about the classification of mechanisms we have snap action mechanism snap action mechanisms they are used in switch for switching device application electric circuit breakers or in fastening okay linear actuator they cause a straight line straight line displacement between two machine elements next one fine adjustment mechanisms they are used for accurate motion to have an accurate motion requiring very small position changes next one climbing mechanisms they are used just to hold items for example for machining operation meaning on turning or drilling operation operation or to exert grid force for for example for printing <clears throat> now locational mechanisms are used for position a linkage member when the load
is removed. The sixth type is ratchet and escapement. For ratchet, are used to advance or hold a machine member for escapement they slowly release potential energy potential energy to control devices and dexing mechanisms They advance a body to a given position or to a specific to a, a, to a specific position. Hold it there. Hold it there. For a period, and then advance it again. Okay, swinging or rocking mechanisms. They cause an output linkage to repeatedly swing or rock through a preset angle like this swing or rock through an angle, preset angle, I mean fixed angle. Reciprocating mechanism cause a member to translate on a straight line. For reversing mechanisms, they reverse the angle, the output angle. Or the output direction, rotation. Coupling and connectors are used used to connect connect coaxial parallel or parallel or enter sicting enter sicting or skew shafts sliding connectors connect two or more reciprocating devices stop pause and hesitation mechanism cause 
an output to first stop and dwell or stop and return or stop and advance etc the last mechanism type of mechanisms is the curve generator which generate the required path or curve okay we will finish with the last item i about schematic diagrams and we answer what is kinematic schema schematic diagram and we say is a highly simplified drawing used to study kinematics of mechanisms what is the advantage of schematic diagram they eliminate confusing factor and allow us to concentrate on more important factors that do not affect the analysis and lastly the drawback of schematic diagram they simply they don't look real thank you see you next video